welcome back. I hope you're all extremely well. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over six fashion mistakes that people make, including me. I used to make these all the time. Until this day, I probably make fashion mistakes on a daily basis. Now, this video is just meant to be a bit of fun, so don't take it too seriously. I think that fashion has no rules and wear whatever makes you feel confident and what makes you feel good. That is what it's all about, okay? That's the great thing about fashion. That is why I love fashion is that we can all, all like express who we are through clothing. Um, but yeah, these are just a few things that I think we should try to avoid if possible. Uh, okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. If you're new to my channel, oh, there goes my phone. Uh, welcome, my name's Angelique. I make new videos twice a week about luxury and fashion. And if that is something you're into, then I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just, let's get right into this. Guys, it is currently 6 a.m. in the morning, which is so weird to me because uh, usually I film my videos at like 10 or maybe like nine in the evening, um, but I'm leaving for Michigan today. So I got up at five and I got ready. This is as good as it's gonna get. Cause I was like way too tired. And I thought I would film before I leave, but yeah, I feel totally weird. Like I just feel tired still. You guys know what I mean? Like when you get up early and you're going to work, but you're still not there yet. That's how I feel right now. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the first fashion mistake that I think a lot of people make that is just bad and we just should not do it. And that is showing your bra straps. So if, <laughs> if you wear, anything at all that could possibly be showing your bra straps just wear a strapless bra with it i do not know why so many people don't do this um and trust me i used to do this all the time when i was younger and looking back i just think for some reason i just don't like this one like this one is really personal to me i just think it looks bad um, so every time I see someone that is wearing like a tank top and you can see the bra straps, I just cringe. Or if they're wearing maybe like a tube top, you know, a top that has no, no straps or anything at all that shows your shoulders completely and you see the bra straps, I always think to myself, why not wear a strapless bra? It's so easy. And to be honest with you, 90% of the time, like even right now I'm wearing a strapless bra, um, I just think they're more comfortable, but I know not everybody can do that. I mean, I you know, my boobs aren't that big, so maybe that's why I can do that. <laughs> but I know for some people, you know, it's just more comfortable to have straps. However, however, I, I cannot stress enough, if you're gonna wear something that will possibly show your bra straps, just try to find a strapless bra that, you know, you feel comfortable in so they don't show. Also, how awesome is it that I'm talking about fashion mistakes and I just noticed that I got lipstick on my shirt when I put it on. <laughs> That's just awesome. Okay, so the second mistake is uh, mixing too many prints. Now, don't get me wrong, some people can really pull this off and I know a lot of people love mixing a bunch of prints, but for me personally, I use prints as a statement. So let's say that I'm wearing a leopard print skirt. That is gonna be the only print you see on me because that is where I want the focus to be on. I, I don't wanna wear a bunch of prints and people don't know what to look at. They're getting all confused. Um, so yeah, for me, I really just use prints, any kind of print, as a statement. So I keep uh, the other items around this one piece neutral and basic. So it, it's all kind of balanced out, if that makes sense. So yeah, but sometimes, you know, I'll see people and they maybe have a striped shirt on and then they have leopard pants and then maybe crazy shoes. It's just a little too much and I feel like it takes all the fun out of it. It's just, I don't know, it's just for me personally, I just think it's too much and I think balance is really key with prints. Next up is over accessorizing. Now by that I mean um, wearing too much jewelry. This can really, again, just kind of overwhelm your entire outfit. So for me, the rule I go by is if I'm wearing a bigger necklace or a statement, something on my neck that is a statement, I'm gonna go with something very small in my ears or sometimes I don't wear any earrings at all. Now, it goes the same way the other way around. If I'm wearing bigger earrings that stand out, I don't wear anything on my neck or I just wear something very subtle. And I do the same with my hands. If I'm wearing a bunch of rings, I don't do that many bracelets. Now, I typically always wear this bracelet and um, these two bracelets. 
Uh, so I try to just keep it at that. Sometimes I'll add maybe another piece right here, but I just I just think again here balance is key. Just keeping everything balanced out, and that way I think it just makes your outfit look a lot more like seamlessly put together and more effortless than just piling jewelry on everywhere. Okay, this next one is not ironing or steaming your clothing, and I specifically wanted to talk about this one because. For uh, the job that I do, I interview a lot of people on a daily basis. Um, and when people come into an interview with unironed clothes that is just super wrinkly, to me, it just seems like they didn't put any effort into it at all. So I think this applies in any aspect of life though, like not just for job interviews, like you should take the effort to steam or iron your clothing. Um, again, I didn't used to do this like a couple years ago, I didn't care, <laughs> but now I won't wear a pair of pants or a shirt that is super wrinkly. I mean, sometimes it happens, you know, sometimes you wear pieces like linen, you iron them and once you wear them for a little bit, they end up super wrinkly again. But um, if you just put a little bit of an effort into it and at least try to steam and iron your clothes and keep it nice and neat. It's just going to make you look more polished and more put together and just like you put a lot more effort into your outfit than you know you actually have. Okay, this next one I'm not going to talk about too much because I feel like it's already been talked about like so many times, but it is wearing leggings as pants. And yes, this is still something people do. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I will wear my yoga leggings um, with like a crop top or maybe like a sports bra to yoga class, um, but I do think that there's a difference between wearing like yoga leggings and actual like cotton or any kind of other material leggings that is see-through and you can see your entire bum and your underwear and all of that stuff. I just don't think it's a good look. Um, and I see a, a lot of like really young girls doing this. They wear these leggings hiked up all the way and then they have like a crop top on and uh, I can just see their underwear and everything else. And I just don't think that it's a good look. So I really think that if you are going to wear leggings, uh, you know, out of the house, <laughs> you should wear something that covers your bum. Um, so that's what I do. You know, if I am going to wear leggings to run errands, I always wear a shirt that's long enough to cover my bottom area or a jacket or whatever it may be, just something to cover that area because it's, I, don't, I don't know, I just don't think it looks good. And even if you are at home and you check in the mirror, like I've done this guys, I've done this. Like I've worn a shirt before that wasn't long enough. And so I checked in the mirror at home, like I turned around and I looked and I did like the whole sun test thing. But then once I left the house, um, you could still see through my leggings. And how do I know? Because people told me, they were nice enough to tell me, but sometimes people don't tell you. So, <laughs> so yeah, just, just, Avoid it, guys. Just wear something that is going to cover your butt. Okay, and last but certainly not least is wearing dirty shoes. Now, I know this might sound like a bit of a weird one, but if you have a pair of shoes in your wardrobe that are standing on their last leg and that have seen their best day, just get rid of them because I personally believe that shoes can either make or break your outfit. Honestly, guys, this is true. Like, shoes are the whole deal. Like, sometimes I pick my outfit solely around my shoes. And if you have a great, like fantastic, amazing, bomb outfit on, and then you throw on a pair of shoes that are totally beat up, and I don't know, maybe the heels, the, the heel thing is broken off, or the leather's coming apart, or they're just super dirty, it's just gonna ruin your outfit, guys. And I know nowadays there are shoes that you can buy that are actually already kind of distressed, and I'm saying this because most of you probably know that I do have a pair of Golden Goose sneakers which are meant to look kind of worn in um, but I don't mean that kind of look. I'm really talking about just shoes that have no business being in your wardrobe anymore. Um, yeah, just get rid of them. Just really get rid of them because chances are they're just gonna ruin your outfit. Um, and I have a few shoes like that that I hang on to because maybe they're like sentimental to me or whatever, um, but then I just wear them to like walk my dogs in or maybe go hiking or something like that. Um, but yeah, just try keeping your shoes clean and and make sure that the shoes you're wearing go with your outfit and yeah. Yeah, that is it guys. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked this. If you did, give it a thumbs up so I know to make more of these types of videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.